What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we are looking at how to find equivalent ratios, so let's jump into it. So how do we go about finding equivalent ratios? Well, very similar to fractions, we are going to use multiplication and division. And we're going to follow the principle that whatever we do to one number, we have to do the same to the other. So for example, I could multiply my 5 by 2, but then I would have to multiply the 10 by 2 as well. So let's do that. 5 times 2 is 10, and 10 times 2 is 20. So therefore, 10 to 20 would also be an equivalent ratio. Let's do it again this time, but let's times it by 3. And 5 times 3 is 15, 10 times 3 is 30. So 15 thirtieths is an equivalent ratio. But don't forget, I can also divide. But I have to make sure I divide both numbers by the same number. So essentially, I'm looking for factors. And I can see that common factors of 5 and 10 would be 5. So I could divide both of these by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. So 1 to 2 is also an equivalent ratio. And actually, 1 to 2 is also the simplified ratio, because that's it in its smallest form. OK, let's have a look at question 2. 32 twelfths, so I could times it by 2 and end up with 64 24. Or I could times it by 100 and end up with 3200 to 1200. But again, I could also divide. And in this case, I'm going to divide by 2, because I can see 2 is a common factor. 32 divided by 2 is 16, 12 divided by 2 is 6. But this isn't yet our simplest form, because I can see they're both even. So I can divide them by 2 again, and I'd end up with 8 to 3. 8 to 3 cannot be simplified anymore, so this would be my simplest form, but also an equivalent ratio. Question 3, let's try and find equivalent fractions in our lists. So which of these ratios on the right is an equivalent ratio of 6 to 9? Well, let's look at A first of all. We can see that to get from 6 down to 2, I'd have to divide by 3. But if I divide my 9 by 3, I'm not going to get 5. So A is not an equivalent ratio. B is 4 ninths. Well, we can see straight away that can't be equivalent because we have a 9 here and a 9 here. But then our first numbers are different, not equivalent. 2, 3. OK, this looks a bit promising. To get from 6 down to a 2, we would divide by 3. And if we divided by 9 by 3, I would get 3. So 2 to 3 is an equivalent ratio. What about 6 to 30 -ths? Well, for exactly the same reason as B, can't be because we've got a 6 at the start and a different number at the end. Not equivalent. What about question 4? 4 eighths. Well, I can see already that 4 eighths is 1 half because 4 is half of 8. So B, I know, is going to be an equivalent ratio. But what about A? A is also an equivalent because 5 is half of 10. But C is not equivalent, and D is also not equivalent. So there you go. That is finding equivalent ratios. Things to remember, equivalent ratios are similar to equivalent fractions. We can use times and divide to help us. But what we do to one value, we must do to the other. OK, here are four questions for you to have a go at. Same as the style that we worked on before. Have a go at answering them. Put your answers in the comment section. And there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. But for now, peace out.